the target market that I had in mind was, um, I had cut like a specifically defined but kind of a broad target. So I wanted to appeal to a variety of people. Um, I wanted to appeal to um, like an older couple that maybe their children are grown now and they're downsizing and they want a smaller space, um, but something that's also convenient for them. So this would be the perfect location for that because they have all their amenities around and the shopping center and those sort of things. So, um, and then my other kind of idea for who would enjoy this apartment was uh, maybe like a, an independent woman. She's grown up maybe from, you know, the surrounding suburbs, but she wants something a little bit more cosmopolitan, a little bit more of a community feel, and she's, you know, she's maybe runs her own business or works from home, from home or something to that effect. So somewhere she can, you know, work comfortably but also live comfortably and very functionally. Definitely inspired by nature. First and foremost, um, the sky and its many paintings and the earth and all its amazing gems and rocks um, and also the Caribbean Ocean. So the picture of the clouds that you see in the dining room um, was kind of my first concept that I wanted to incorporate with the space. Uh, I had seen a picture of clouds that was I don't know, it just really touched me. It was really provoking, and I wanted to do something to that effect. Um, that picture was in black and white, but I wanted to introduce some color because Vancouver can be really gray and cloudy, so I wanted you to come home and basically feel like a tropical oasis. The chandelier I love because it reminded me of the ocean and bubbles and waves and also jellyfish, which I have a strange fascination with. <laughs> I'm kind of slightly obsessed, so. Um, the dining room chairs, um, they had just a brown faux leather kind of cover and I just custom upholstered them with some fabric that I also used on the headboard. Kind of tie those two rooms together and add a little sparkle and a little glamour to the set, which is, it was beautiful, brand new in a box off Craigslist, so got a good deal on that. Um, the whole Craigslist. I know, I did so well on Craigslist, it was crazy. Um, I also got the, the really nice shabby chic French chairs on Craigslist and the table, which I just re-sprayed white. Um, it was a little bit scratched up, so I just a little quick sand and a little spray paint and can't go wrong with that. Um, yeah, and then I just incorporated some of the gems like I was talking. These are agate slabs and they're supposed to um, bring you good health and prosperity and focus. And there were some extra balls from the chandelier, so I just pop them in the little succulents, add a little sure. detail there. I wanted to do a chandelier. This room didn't have overhead lighting, so I just installed a simple cord and painted it to help it blend in a little bit more and give it a more finished look. I also installed molding um, throughout the apartment, actually, around all the windows and doors that didn't have it, which was all of them. Um, to give it a little bit more of a finished feel and a little bit more of a classic feel. Um, I did the art myself. I made the headboard. Um, a lot of work, huh? It was a lot of work. I also made the side tables. I actually had made a really big headboard and it was framed and had two side panels and those were supposed to be attached to it. And then, lesson learned, it didn't fit in the elevator. Oh. So last night I had to make do and figure out a solution. So good thing I just mounted them to the wall and those paintings are actually gonna go somewhere else, but you know, you you yeah. problem yeah. solve and yeah. you make things work. And I think it looks good, so I'm happy with it. Um go to the bathroom. Um, I work in an art gallery part time and we sell all local artists, so oh, something that's also awesome. do look at. It's called Doctor Vigari Gallery. Mm -hmm. It's on Commercial oh, yeah. Drive. Okay. Commercial and second, yeah. And then, like, these pictures here are just out of a book I bought on, it's called The Climate, because um, I'm obsessed with clouds, like you said. Um, so, yeah, I just cut out pages, and it makes for really inexpensive, easy art. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to create, you know, a strong foundation for whoever buys the apartment to really, like, build on, so I figured they wouldn't feel so bad ripping down my paintings if they wanted to put up, <laughs> or the pictures that they wanted to put in, you know, their family portraits, and so I really wanted to be able to, to allow them to build on what mm -hmm. I've already done. 
put a lot of thought and a lot of time. Definitely. I know how much time goes into putting these places together. I mean, that's that's what we do a lot of, and it's people don't understand how much time actually goes into it and how much thought and sourcing and everything. Right. I think if we had to talk just specifically about the target market, I think um, you didn't hit it uh, um, for a couple from coming in from a couple's point of view, but from a feminine, from a female point of view, mm -hmm. I would say definitely that that you get it a feminine more space. So I would would have just liked to have heard you say specifically that you're thinking independent woman and um, coming more from a female because it it definitely has a female quality and flavor okay. to it. Um, I think uh, some of the positives for the space is that I can see that you put a palette together and that teal sort of color that you tried to punch out and bring in different spaces. And I like that you use a punch of color in here. In fact, when we walked through, we kind of forgot to yeah. talk about that space. But that um, I can see that you're trying to continue that color through. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important with a small space that you do have that continuity. So I liked I like that you did that. For me, when I'm talking about color, and I said to these guys, I'm a big stickler on neutrals and the neutrals all being within the, the right tone. In here, like, taupes are hard, okay? Like, getting the right taupe on taupe. Um, it's really important, I think, that you, you keep that same tonality. So if you look in here at the bedroom, that there's the, the taupe of that headboard is a little pinker than the taupe of that wall, yeah. and that just throws it off for me. Okay. So I just be really, really careful um, that way. And then coming in, it's always important when you're coming through the space to um, have sort of a nice focal point. You've done that with a punch of color here. Um, this space we felt was floating a little bit. I think that it was a nice idea to, to put the trim on the space, but given your budget, I'm not sure if that was the best use of your dollars. Um, yeah, it, you probably could have used it on your area rug right here, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> and also in terms of t like time management wise, I mean, we all know with work, time everything comes down to time management, right? Mm -hmm. You've spent a lot of time thinking through, I think, the lifestyle of, of this um, of this girl who lives here, and you've really put a lot of effort into um, you know what her hobbies might be, and you can tell that you've envisioned that, mm -hmm. and that's really good. But at the same time, it probably required a lot of sourcing, a lot of time, and things that might have been. Um, time that might be better used on, on sort of larger, more conceptual things. Okay. Yeah, for me, some of the things were just a little too finicky, almost a little bit too personal. So when you're merchandising a space, there's like a fine line where you, um, you have to sort of step outside it. Are you thinking of what do I like or what will the end user like? Right. And I think there's a lot of really personal touches here that maybe took it a little too, mm -hmm. too far. Um, I think did unfortunately spill into the rest of the, yeah. sort of the overall budget. Mm -hmm. um, and time there's, there's, there's a lot of spaces, a lot of, lot, of, lot, of, lot of parts of the design that I think needed a little bit more love, but the parts that you did have time for, I think, you know, there's definitely, you know, your hand in it and your design in it and, 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 and obviously, like you're saying, it's something that you want to use as a platform to show who you are, who, who you know, kind of like Sloan is. Um, one of my favorite things in the whole suite, though, is this lamp. I think this fixture is great. Thank you. Um, my only thing is, that it's one of the first things. You, it's another key point, a focal point when you walk in the room, a lot, a lot along with the color, and it takes my eye down immediately, which is great because now I'm, I'm exploring the space visually, but it instantly I hit this, and it's different, and, and I think the two don't quite fit together. Yeah, there's a little bit of uh, conflict. Yeah. There, yeah, I think with the the rectangular art, artwork. Um, it's maybe a bit too punchy for me, but I, I like the fact that it's it's um, it's kind of a neutral image as well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not something you know, just clouds. Uh, I like I like the concept. The rectangular frame of that does work with rectangular table. Um, I think it would have been really simple to just lose this floral thing and either do a circular. Simplify. Like I want to like do maybe a runner. Like, you know, you like do a runner, but I think yeah. something circular like. Could be like white roses cut really short and stuffed into like a crystal, mm -hmm. something very simple. Or mm -hmm. if, if you're picking up on the beach thing, it could have been something with sand and then maybe like round tea lights. Just you a round what? thing that would have connected this okay. would have made this whole area really, really successful. Yeah, you know, just as I'm looking at it again right now, I think what might have made that area more successful is that um, this is all very feminine and more, um, what is this? 
I think you said shabby chic is what you had mm -hmm. said, right? Was that you yeah. said that? Mm -hmm. Right? It would have been nice that, that that was a little bit softer in that area as well, like to continue that concept throughout. It's, um, it's sort of divided here. And that uh, frame of that print, the print is very pretty, but the frame is very harsh against the print and, and the whole glamour and glitz yeah. part mm -hmm. of it. But yeah, so we would have liked to see a little bit more you know, lightening up mm -hmm. the colors. Um, that said, we think he did. Uh, I think he did a great job sourcing those chairs. Yeah, the chairs those are, are great. Really, Love really the chairs. Great. Yeah. And those are the kind of things you know that you can see her taking with her to her next. You know. Yeah. Like, you know, we're assuming that this is probably her first home. Mm -hmm. So, so that's the kind of thing that's going to grow with her. And I think that you were really showed a lot of foresight too, um, and that you've really sort of thought through those kinds of things. Yeah. For me, I think that the choice of putting something in the middle of the room catches your eye. The fact that it's black is, is nice too, it sort of an, really you know, anchors because um, everything else is quite light choices, so I think that's good. Um, we all have this problem, we want to hang a fixture and yeah. there's no way of getting the power to it without, an, you know, a cheap way of getting it, the expensive way is to do it all internally, which, um, you know, probably wasn't realistic on this budget. Yeah. By putting in the, 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 the cord the little covers and hanging them out, I think it really draws your, your, your eye to where the middle or left and right of this room is, mm -hmm. and I think for me I would have either put the headboard dead center on that cord. Yeah. It sounds like a, a thing that doesn't really matter, but it really catches your eye, and I'm not sure your headboard is square or hung level, and I think those are small things that would have just, mm. you know, my eye just gets caught on it, and, and maybe that's because of what we do for a living, we, we, we agonize over a quarter <laughs> of an inch. It's so I true. Feel, but so it's part I, of it. It's I, to, just I to be feel like that is important as well. Um, with the hanging and everything, I can blame that on my builder guy who did that. You can't though. I know, I can't. You can't but, because, um, because the thing, I'm, I can't come in here and judge your ability to right. to execute certain things. For sure. But I do need to talk about your resourcefulness. And mm -hmm. resourcefulness is, is, is hiring the right people. And if they can't do it, getting the right people that can. You know, or getting them to do it until it's right. Yeah, yeah. And making them come back and say, until you're happy. I can't live with this. Yeah. You have to do those things. I can't stress that stuff enough. Because mm -hmm. no, nobody knows the builder. Nobody knows the person who hung it. Yeah. They know Penelope Sloan. That's it. For sure. So you have to be that person. Understood. But um, again, I think the chair is good. And the, I like the mirror. I, I'm a big fan of anything that can reflect light up. And that's it up there. So. Mm -hmm. And that um, picks up on your sort of glamour approach, mm -hmm. right? And I so think the floating side tables are nice too. I mean, I would have liked to see your side panels come down all the way. I know you've got nice high ceilings in here. Yeah. Almost would have been better just not to put them in if they're not gonna to to hit the floor. For me, again, it comes down to a little bit of a finickiness. Like it gets too personal with with a lot of the little earrings and doodads. It feels yeah. a little bit too lived in. I think. It's yeah. Oh, okay. I good. wanted to add a little bit more detail just yeah. to have people be able to envision like what it would look like with their stuff on. Yeah. But I do yeah. think from a marketing perspective people want to feel like it's pristine and right. maybe mm -hmm. it's a little bit too much in that direction. Of too much information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. it, 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 we all struggle with the line between you know what's designed and what's decorated and how those two work because something that's too designed can be way too cold and way too intellectual and cerebral and that can be a failure and then you can have stuff that's way too decorated and, and it just it feels way too um, you know, off a bad reality TV show, you know, kind of, yeah. it's a fine line, you always are trying to find that balance, and I think sometimes you've really found it, and sometimes it's kind of gone both ways, but, okay. part of the process, part of the process, yeah, it's definitely a huge learning experience for me, so, I'm, I'm thrilled with my results, I feel like I did the best job that I could do, given the time and the money that I had, so, I mean, definitely, I feel like if I did it again, it would just be that much more easy and I'm now I'm prepared for the next time so mm -hmm. I'm works. excited to keep going. You know, yeah, like it's a lot like life, right? Yeah. 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 Live and learn. And that's good. I think you should do that. I think you should you should take what you've learned from this and Definitely. put it in the bag of tricks. And, for sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. For that's sure. Good. Well thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Good luck. Thank